All right, so we're back here taking a look at gun angles, and I gotten a lot of questions about how to apply uh, what I showed on Euro Dollar uh, to other markets, and I decided to make a video on that. Uh, but if you haven't seen the first video, I recommend uh, you pause this video, go back and see that first because you're not really going to understand what's going on here. Um, and I'll leave a link to that uh, below in the description. So first I wanted to show you how to apply to a yen pair. But before we do that, actually, um, I just want to recap that what we're doing here is we're using the simple um, mathematical formula y equals mx plus b, right? So rise over run change in y over change in x and that's basically going to give us two points uh, that we can use to construct our one by one angle and then all the rest of the angles will fall into place based on that one by one angle um, the first point so x2 um, sorry for x1 and y1 will be um, a high or a low and x2 and y2 will actually be the movement of the moon from that high or low and um, we talked about in the previous video but just a quick recap so if you search WD GAN soybean is a very famous image of a soybean chart okay so basically if you um, google GAN soybean and you take a look and you download any one of these pictures, you'll see that right above here at the top right here, that's the sign for Jupiter. And you can see that there's a line marked, okay, for the movement of Jupiter. And this is probably coming from a previous higher low, okay? Um, so that's a proof that Gan used uh, planets to create Gan to create the angles, his geometric angles, which we now call Gan angles. And what I'm using and what I'm teaching is how to apply this for day trading. So on a one hour chart or, um, you know, if you want to take a couple trades a week, it's very good uh, to use um, the moon, the, the basically the uh, rotation of the moon around the earth. And that's a 29 and a half day cycle. OK, and gun in order to convert everything, gun used um, the 360 degrees. So if we want to take 29 and a half days divided by, uh, sorry, 360 degrees divided by 29 and a half days. Okay, so that's, now we're getting the degrees. So 12.2 degrees. Okay, now I've rounded it to 13. That's why we're using the number 13. Why not 12? Well, Gan has a principle called lost motion. And this is right out of his Master Commodities course, and you can see it right here. So Gan says, lost motion. As there is lost motion in every kind of machinery, so there is lost motion in the grain market due to momentum, which drives an option slightly above or below a resistance level. The average lost motion is one to uh, seven eighths of a cent. When an option is very active, and advances or declines fast on heavy sales, it will often go from one to one seven eighth of a cent above halfway point or other uh, strong resistance level and not go three cents. The same rule applies on a decline. It will often pass an important resistance point by one seven eight cents, but not go three full points beyond it. This is the same rule that applies to a gravity center in anything. If we could bore a hole through the earth and then drop a ball, Momentum would carry it beyond the gravity center, but when it slowed down, it would finally settle on the exact center. This is the way grain options act around these important centers. So Gon's talking about grain options, but we can obviously apply this to all markets. And so if we are going to eventually convert degrees uh, into, into um, time, okay, and that's, what we're, that's, that's why we move, sorry, uh, degrees into price, and that's why we subtract or add uh, 13 pips in euro, right? That's what we did is we took a high, we subtracted 13 pips um, because of the, of the 13 degrees that the moon travels every 24 hours. And that's why we move the bar counter over 24 hours. And that's what gives us our X2 and Y2, right? So if we go back here, this is a high or a low. And then uh, we need our X2, Y2, which will be from 
the movement of, of the moon in this case, okay? Um, so, we're gonna start with pound yen and I'm going to show you how we apply the 13 uh, pips on a yen pair. Why? Because we only have three decimal places. It's different from um, a euro dollar. So it's very simple. All you have to do is, for instance, oops. So I went to this high, and I see that the high is 157.771. Okay. So all I do is 157.771. And I subtract that by uh, 0.13. So still 13 pips calculated, but for a yen pair because we have a different amount of decimal spots, right? So then we get 157.641. You can see that that's what I've marked here. And then we're looking for 24 bars because the moon moves really 12.2 degrees. But because of lost motion that we were just talking about, we take that extra lost motion and we're going to round up. And that's why we get to 13 degrees. Okay. Um, so we can see that we've marked this spot and we can see how beautifully price has reacted to the angle. So I've basically drawn them out for you already here. And you can take the same principle. So We'll go for a low, the same thing. We took the low, we added 13 pips, and that gave us 149.108. And we want to move over 24 bars, right? So one day for 13 degrees. And then we drew our angle, and you can see how beautifully price uh, reacted to this angle. So more recently, um, so we're filming here, it's February 13th, but on the, in the end of January, Okay, price was resting on this one by one angle, and that's one of Gan's rules that if price is resting on the one by one angle, then we can take a long position, and you can see exactly what happened afterwards. Okay, and you have the calculation. You can go check this for yourself and draw on any angle you want. I drew one also from here from above, and you can see very nicely how many hits we're getting on these angles. Okay, so that's how you would draw it. Um, Friday, for instance. Price stopped right here at this angle. Uh, as soon as price breaking each angle, we, we head up, right? So this would also be another long because we have a one by one from this top. Price breaks above, manages to reject that one by one angle and head higher. And you can see, Gan says it will go to the next angle. Boom, and that's what it did. Okay, so that's for a yen pair. Uh, now I'll show you gold. Um, this is a position I'll discuss in a minute, but basically with gold, what you wanna do is um, use the same principle, obviously, of 13, but you wanna move the decimal place over, okay? And what you wanna do is you wanna add a dollar 30. So if we take this low, 1780.33, plus a dollar thirty. All right, so that would give us seventeen eighty one sixty three. And then we want to move in time forward from that point, 24 bars. And then that will give us our X2, Y2. And you can see, boom, that's where it is. Um, so that's how I've done all these gold angles. And you can go back and, and practice for yourself and do them yourself. Um, okay, so there's a few things I wanted to point out here. First of all, uh, gun angles, you'll notice, are very hard to trade on their own, okay? And gun didn't use them um, as an all an, an end all in, in deciding you know where he's going to enter his trade it was used as a confluence with his master forecast method 
which is outlined and, and, and hidden within that master commodity course, okay? But you can see that there's many tools in his master commodities course. So he's hinting to the fact that he uses, why would he teach you many things and use only one of them? Okay, Gan was a true believer in, in using many confluences and there's documents showing uh, his checklists about how he would use maybe even 10, you know, 12, 13 confluences for one trade, okay? Now, I just want to bring your attention to a uh, way that you can trade gun angles at how I've teach how I've taught here. Okay, this was a long that I took based off this very simple course. Okay, that I released about uh, three and a half weeks ago is WD gun secret divergence method, and it's from um, is truth of the stock tape. So basically, I dissect. Um, a, a, a two case studies in truth of the stock tape and it's a very simple method and it's very powerful okay and we already have like I, uh, this hasn't been updated yet but I just updated today um, until last week so we I have you can see I'm consistently updating examples and then showing you in the trading plan within the example um, where exactly we entered and why okay but I go through everything here okay i even give you a little intro on gun i go through uh what what the regular divergence retail trader is looking at and then we go through some case studies and i show you not only how to learn and analyze gun but how to apply this method profitably okay and one trade that wasn't is in that is in these examples uh this uh is is this trade right here okay so we have a one by one angle coming down, uh, coming up from this December 15th low, okay? And price came into the one by one angle, okay? But we don't know where is a safe place to buy because resting on an ang angle is very ambiguous, okay? Because I've seen many times that we've, we can come back up above the one by one and then come right back down. So we want an extra confluence, at least one more, to tell us will, will price go up from here or down from here, okay? And this was the position that was taken um, using that secret divergence method. And all we had to do was target this one by one angle, okay? It's a, it's, it's a very practical step-by-step. -step. I show you exactly where you have to enter, put your take profit and stop loss, and you can start being profitable t today. Why is it $99? Because honestly, I'm sick and tired of everybody getting scammed, as I did. And it's a shame that at the time when, when there's tr true information in front of someone's face, now they're too scared to go for it. You know, But people are willing to give these crazy marketers that are flashing cars and creating all these courses of like support resistance and trend lines and people are throwing money at them but you know when it comes to real knowledge all of a sudden people have this inner voice of like fear and doubt it's it's actually it's it's pretty interesting and you can see all of these psychological factors in the market so why did i make it 99 dollars so that you don't even have to think twice and you can get a little taste of what real gun is give you some hope and actually start making some money back I, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, and I've already refunded one person that um, wanted a refund because they thought that I was a release. It was a square of nine course because they were looking at a square of nine video, which is which is no problem. That's no problem. I am releasing a square of nine video uh, uh, in the near future, and as well as my the astro methods, and eventually the master forecast method. Um, so that's how we took this long, and that's how you can use it in confluence with gun angles that I've taught here uh, on the channel. Let's move on now to U.S. oil. So U.S. oil, the same idea. We're using 13, 13 degrees, right, for every 24-hour movement um, of the moon. And all you had to do was take this low, okay, add 13 cents. So we're moving the decimal place. So 62.42. Plus 13 cents, that'll give us 62.55. You can see I marked it over here. 
24 hours forward from that point for the uh, movement of the moon and then we get our angles and you can see um, all these hits okay now where could you have entered right so we knew that according to, to Gan's uh, uh, rules for his geometric angles is after price heads back over a one by one the 45 degree angle we can consider the trend has changed okay so we have um, from this October October 25th high we got to the one by one angle and broke through it then we came down and tested it again this position was taken with Gan's uh, divergence method course okay very very simple very affordable and I'm telling you you can start making money this week and if not you have a 30-day money-back guarantee I cannot stress this enough what a crazy opportunity this is I'm telling you the price is going to go up soon because the value goes up the more it gets proven okay and the more people that sign up and 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 prove that to me not only to me but to themselves that it can be replicated because most most people develop trading plans that can't be replicated by another person and that's why i really love gan is because his methods can be duplicated by many people so this was in a, in a sense for an experiment for me and that experiment is working wondrously and eventually just as a stock value goes up the stock in this course is going to go up and you should take the advantage of this opportunity right now. So here's another example that's in the course. You'll see why I took this long in the course. Very, very simple. Use it as a confluence with this angle. Okay. And boom, you had a nice two to three to one here. Sorry. Why, why over here? Because Gan says your next target should be the next angle. Okay. So uh, that's, that was the exit right here. Very nice. Three to one. Very clean. Um, Okay, so now let's move to the S&P. The S&P, all we got to do is add um, 13 points. So we take this low, okay, add 13 points, and that will give us uh, 42.35. We want to move the bar over 24 hours, thir 13 degrees and 24 hours of lunar movement, and you can see how many hits we're getting here, okay? Uh, I did it from this top as well. And you can see that back in mid-January, we came up and we actually did a nice double top off this one by one angle and then broke that low. And we just crashed after, after that. So you could have just been drawing this high. Okay, you could have drawn, drawn from this high the angle on January 4th. Let price come down, stock it, see it come back up, form some resistance. Boom, short it down. Same thing with the Dow over here. Um, we used obviously the principle of 13, but now instead of 13 points, we use 130. Uh, now you're probably asking yourself right now, how, how, how do you know that you can move the decimal place? Okay. Now I don't do anything without looking into GAN and, and learning it from GAN. So I'm going to show you. This is from GAN's Master uh, Commodities course. Okay. And you can see the square of nine. Okay. And uh, Gan explains um, under here hexagon chart. He also has a hexagon chart, but I use the square of nine. Okay, so Gan says here, since everything moves in a circle, nothing moves in straight lines. This chart is to show you how the angles influence stocks at very low levels and very high levels, and why stocks move faster the higher they get because they have moved out to where the distance between the angles of 45 degrees are so far apart that there is nothing to stop them and their moves are naturally rapid up and down. Okay, so that's a hint. If you look here, right here, we're 25, okay? If, we're, if price is hovering at 25, so to head from this angle to this one, is only three points, 25, right? To 26, 27, 28. Now, as you move down and head out, as Gan says, right? And they have moved out, out in terms of square of the square, okay? Or the hexagon, uh, hexagon chart. As you move out, the distance between the angles gets higher, okay? And that means that the price between them is also higher. So in order to adjust 
for that in the market, you have to play with the scale, okay? Now we have the constant of 13, but all we had to do is move the decimal place and now we have 130. Why? Because 33,000, 34,000 is much higher than 4,000. The distance between um, the angles when price is sitting at 4,500 is a lot smaller than when price is sitting at 33,000. And for that reason, in the S&P, we're using 13 points and in the Dow, we're using 130 points. Okay, now we're going to move on to the Nifty. In the Nifty, the same idea. So because we're in, in a high scale, okay, so I used 130 points. And if you take the low from here and you add 130 points, you will get 16, uh, 540.2, right? So let's do that. So the low was... 16410.2 plus 130 boom okay and then i've drawn my angles according to that principle and you can see very lovely how price caught uh, the two by one over here uh, not once but twice right here okay we have some nice hits all over right here as price fails back down. Okay, so that's pretty much how I would draw um, my angles for Nifty. I don't trade the Nifty, but I got a lot of questions on how to apply it. So there you go. And Bitcoin, now I'm sure everybody waiting for Bitcoin. Um, to be honest, I don't like trading Bitcoin. Uh, it's very manipulated at the moment, uh, but I understand people are drawn to it. For some reason, when, when I don't understand why, because you can make so much more money in other markets right now. Um, so yeah, I would think twice before how much how much time you invest in trading Bitcoin because the risk to reward is just as good or even better in any other markets right now, especially in Forex market where, where there's the highest volume. Um, so for Bitcoin, the same idea, we have 13, but because the price scale is super high, uh, so we'll use uh, 1300 or 130 okay if price drops okay so it really depends on bitcoins near the 80,000 70,000 60,000 you know I would use a, a 1300 if we start going back below 30 I would use um, uh, 130 that's that's like to, to understand you, you're you need to have an angle that's vibrating within the price scale and that's you can see that visually um, here okay you can see that visual you need an angle these are all angles right that's the square of nine is angles and these are all angles and the, the distance between the angles get higher as the scale goes up so it's visually you can see that here so you have to play around with the scale when you're drawing angles on your markets that you want to trade and just see what's vibrating okay um so for instance in my uh, last video on Bitcoin, I basically said that we should be watching February 2nd, February 3rd. And we did get a, an impulse down below the one by one angle, right? But we broke back above. See, these angles aren't really telling me much in terms of the larger picture. So I have to move out, as Gan says. And these angles are based, this one is based on uh, Mercury heliocentric and Mercury heliocentric, okay? And this angle is based on Mars heliocentric from the top in 2017. This is pretty much telling the big picture right now on Bitcoin. And it's good news for the bulls that we actually made a nice double bottom here on this one by one um, from the end of June. Uh, for Bitcoin to come back down now, we would have to break uh, this one by one angle here. And then this one. And then we'd probably hit and stop at the 28,000. And then we'd have to see how price reacts to this angle, okay? But this is just an example. Why am I showing you? This is an example um, of why you need to play with the scale and see what, what angles basically the market is vibrating to, okay? And then you'll be able to use those angles to trade very, very uh, successfully uh, as confluence with other factors, okay? 
um, it's a it's it's off, very often that you know I'll have a clear picture of where I want a trade to go, but then I'll draw an angle and it will give me that final you know aha uh -huh, okay this is where it's going. It will give me that final confluence and and that's and and that's how you need to think about trading is as, as many confluences as you can. Okay, it's not about one particular method. Even Gan's master forecast method that I might show in the future on YouTube, um, how I not how I do it, but what it is basically, uh, I still use these confluences. I still use gun angles. I still use square of a nine. I still use the divergence. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it cleared some things up for you in terms of the other markets. Uh, if you're asking what pushed price probably up this day, February 3rd. So... You can see that on February 3rd, we were uh, Mercury was retrograde, and then we went direct on February 4th. Okay, so I was, I was expecting to be either a push down or a push up, and we were right on the angle, so you couldn't really tell. But basically, we had um, Sun, Saturn, and Uranus in this whole move down, and I've covered that in a previous video. I'll also link that in the description below. And then over here... Mercury went direct, and that's a very, very strong um, indicator for a change in trend. Okay, so again, you could have used this astro, but you would need the angle and confluence, right? You want to have confluences. Um, and when you have all of them, it's just uh, it's crazy how how accurate it is, and that's that it's uh, that's how I see eventually how Gan got his 85, 90 percent, you know, um, accuracy. Uh, that when you're using all these methods and confluence with one another, it's pretty powerful stuff. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. What I see here, uh, actually, just want to tell you one more thing. What I see here before, um, okay, so. The way I would look at Bitcoin right now, Bitcoin's in no man's land until we either come back down to this angle, okay, and see what price does at this angle or head back up to this angle. We have no problem now hitting back up to the 50,000, 51,000 area. So for me, this is a no man's land area until we get either back down here or back up here. Uh, yeah, so that's about it.